ta ta tam ta dum tam tam What an interesting book. However, I myself don't know if I'm ever going to finish it until the end. Huh, that's interesting. Is that thing recording, actually? Oh, hey there! So, today we're going to talk about something very interesting. Would you like to know what? Well, keep watching. Whoop! All right, guys, so in this video, we're going to talk about Go resources. And what exactly I mean by Go resources? Well, these are resources which I myself used or I still continue to use. And these are resources which I recommend using because they will boost your development. They will increase your time you'll have to spend in order to learn Go. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into these resources and let's check them out. Ooh, so these are the resources which we're gonna talk about and let's go ahead and check out the first one. So we're gonna first talk about articles and blog posts. So this is a super important resource and when it comes to Go, I gotta say that Go is very rich and very powerful when it comes to articles, blog posts and information in terms of reading. When it comes to video, however, Go sucks a little bit and you'll see why. So let's first explore the resources which I prepared related to articles and blog posts. All right, so I'm in my browser right now and let's go ahead and open up github.com, oops, github.com slash gopher2 slash go basics. And by the way, here's the repository where all the source code, including the presentations and all the stuff, all the resources, which we're gonna check out in this video are included. So make sure to check out the Go Learning Resources directory and here I have the presentation and we also have these goresources.md which we're gonna use as a reference in order to navigate to several URLs, links and stuff like that because I don't want to remember all of this by heart. So let's open up goresources.md and here are all the resources which we're gonna use in this video and we're gonna start off with blog posts, articles and docs. So we're gonna start off with a very common resource called GoTour. So basically if you open up GoTour, it's basically a resource where they teach you Go programming language from the beginning. Like this is some kind of tutorial, like you walk through this, you read, you do some exercises, run it in the Go playground. As you can see here is the Go playground. You can run this code and it's gonna output the result. So you can basically, it's a long tutorial, it's a pretty interesting one. I suggest you walk through this and check it out. So another resource I would like you to check out is Effective Go. Now Effective Go would be more useful if you have a little bit of experience of Go. So basically here they teach you everything about Golang, like uh, here's for example some information about the project, examples, data types, and they explain all of these examples and it's a pretty good resource, it's a pretty decent resource. I mean you could check out this one and you're gonna be in a pretty good spot. So we're not going to waste too much time on each individual resource because you have links to those resources and you can check them out yourself. However, let's move on to the next resource. So the next resource in articles and blog posts is Go Blog. So basically it's the blog of the Golang, if you will. So basically here are like survey results and the summary and some, some charts and graphs. I mean, you could check this out as well in order to stay trendy, in order to stay in touch with the latest changes which are happening in the Go ecosystem and stuff like that. And uh, I mean they have a lot of information here, you can check it out. It's basically the blog of the language, nothing else to add here. So another resource I'd like you to take a look at is GoDoc. You could check out documentation for standard library packages, let's say net. If you type in net, it's gonna give you net, net HTTP. So let's open up net. So basically here's the description of the package. Basically everything that is in standard library as a comment, as a description of that package appears here. It's automatically generated. Here's the index. Let's say you wanna check out the description of this method. They also have examples. You could check out these examples and you could even run the code if I'm not wrong. Like you could say play and it's giving you a playground and you could just run this code. It's just gonna print the result. So it's a pretty neat resource. We're heavily gonna use this resource in our projects, in our day-to-day -day work on Golang. This is a very handy resource, so check it out. So another resource which I consider very important and very useful is Golang Spec, of course, because Golang Spec tells you everything about the project and you could check several documents they have here, but the most useful part I consider is packages. You go in packages, you choose your package, let's say I choose, I don't know, context, and you check out the documentation. It's basically the same as GoDoc, but in a different way. I don't know if it has examples. Yeah, it has examples as well, and you could run them right here. You don't need to open the playground because they have it integrated inside of it. 
So that's pretty much it on golang.org. This is the spec. There's a ton of resources here. Check it out, play around, click the buttons and see what happens because I mean, there's a ton of information here which we're not gonna cover in this tutorial. However, this is a very handy resource and you're most likely gonna access this the most. So another resource I wanna talk about real quick is as well, go by example. Now go by example is a very handy resource. Why? Well, because it does what it says teaches you by examples. So if you open up hello world, it's gonna give you a hello world example and go. If you open up, let's say structs, it's gonna give you example based on structs. And this resource is really example oriented and is example heavy. So you could just check this resource out and you could say, you know how to write Go, especially if you're a person like me who likes to get his hands dirty. And if you want to see some results and you just want to get the job done, this is the best resource I can recommend. All right, guys, another resource I want you to check out and I consider it's important is Go Proverbs. Now, what the heck is Go Proverbs? Are we talking philosophy or something like that? I thought we're talking Go, right? Yes, we are talking Go. This is a presentation by Rob Pike, one of the authors of Go, by the way. So if you open up any of these links, it's basically a YouTube presentation where Rob Pike explains each of these proverbs and why it should be done, the way it should be done and stuff like that. So I can say these proverbs are very useful because they taught me a lot. And even when I'm writing Go code, it's like I'm thinking, do I write the code the right way, the idiomatic way, the Go way? Things like empty interfaces, nothing. If, like if you read this, like, what the heck is that supposed to mean? Interface, empty interface says nothing. But if you dive into the presentation which Rob Pike gives, you will understand the meaning of them and they will actually prove to be very useful, especially when you write Go code, you will keep thinking about these proverbs. Like, am I writing the code the right way, the Go way? So that's it on Go Proverbs. All right, guys, so another resource I want you to check out is Awesome Go and let's open this up. So basically I use Awesome Go when I want to play with a new library and I don't know what that library should be. So I just check out Awesome Go and let's say I'm interested in processing audio and music. It's gonna give me a list of libraries which it thinks are the best. I don't know what are the criteria, but probably popularity and you know the community feedback and stuff like that. I don't know that these libraries exist. So because I don't know, I'm trying to find out, I'm trying to look out. So I just type in like library for doing that. So instead of doing that on Google, I just open up Awesome Go. I look for the category I'm interested in and here we go. I find the library I need. So this is how you find libraries. You go into categories and you just look for files, let's say. It's gonna give you a, a list of libraries related for files. So basically that's how you search libraries. It's a pretty decent resource and I pretty much like it because it helps me find out the solution to a problem which I have. So that's it on Awesome Go. Check it out and see if you have any solution to your problems. So another resource I want to talk about is Idiomatic Go. So we have two resources here on Idiomatic Go. Let's open up the first one. So basically the word idiomatic means this is the way you should write code. This is the way which is accepted by the community, by the professionals, by production projects, and this is the way the code is supposed to go in production. So Idiomatic Go basically tells you how to write Go the correct way, how to write Go a better way. So just for reference, check out Idiomatic Go. It's a useful resource and it will teach you how to write Go the correct way, a better way, and it will improve your code your code which goes into production obviously. So another resource I really want to stress out to check is Dave Cheney. Now Dave Cheney is basically his blog and I really highly recommend to check out this resource because Dave Cheney is probably the best gopher in my opinion in the community. He writes blog posts, articles and a lot of stuff. So basically he has categories here, he has several archives articles i mean he writes a lot of articles and they're very good they're very well he's also involved in different conferences i mean he's very descriptive and he's a nice gopher he's like the best gopher probably out there so make sure you check out dave cheney i cannot stress it enough because i've learned a lot from his articles and he's very descriptive and he lays out every edge case and I, I like reading Dave Cheney so make sure to read Dave Cheney make sure to check out his blog he's a very useful resource all right guys so the last resource I want you to check out is medium and yeah if you read medium previously you're probably used to medium and you love medium so that's why Golang is also on medium so make sure to check go on medium
All right, guys, so that's it on blog posts and articles. I know it's been a huge amount of information. Make sure to check it out and don't stress it. I know it's a lot of information. Make sure you check it step by step. So right now, let's go ahead and dive into the next resource, which is discussions and forums and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into discussions and forums and let's check out what resource we have. So we have Reddit and we have Go Forum. Let's go ahead and check these out on GoResources.md. All right, guys. So I'm in the GoResources.md. So here we have discussions and Q&A sections. So basically, Golang Reddit and Go Forum. I have nothing to add here. If you open up Golang Reddit, it's pretty much the Reddit page for Golang. Here are tons of discussions, threads, and you can get involved in these discussions to, you know, get a hang of the community and just get involved, chat with people around and make friends, make go for friends. I don't have to explain you how social media works, so make sure you get involved and check it out. So the other one was Go Forum. So basically, Go Forum, it's pretty much the same thing, except it's very specific and narrow and it doesn't have to be on a social media. So basically, it's the same thing. People post questions or problems they have, and there are some other people who answer those questions. Like if you open up this question, there's a question of a description, blah, 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 a playground, and then several answers. I mean, I don't have to explain you how forums or social media works. Make sure you check that out and let's dive into the next resources. All right, guys, so the next resource, which I think it's super important to have is Twitter. Well, because there are the best people in the community. There are the mentors which you must follow, which you must have because they lead the community. So super important disclaimer, make sure you check that list because these are the best people in the community. They are your mentors. So make sure you check them all because that's the community you want to follow. That's the community you want to get in. You want to follow the authors of the language you want to follow the people who are doing the best at it all right guys so the next resource i want to talk about and i think it's also super important especially for those who like to read very much is books so let's go ahead and check out the list of books which i prepared for you and i think are the best for you to read and some of them i read some of them i'm still reading so let's go ahead and dive into them all right guys so i'm in goresources.md and here we have four books in this list. So the first one is Go Programming Language, which by far is the most popular book. So the next book I want you to have a look is The Way to Go. Now, this is a very nice book. It's a free book, by the way. You can download it from this website, archive.org. It's, it's a pretty neat book. It's of course for beginners. I recommend this book because it's very easy to get started with this book. It has plenty of examples and very nicely explained. So go ahead and read The Way to Go, which is The Way to Go, whatever. So another book which I am reading at the moment is Go in Practice. I can tell this is not a super advanced book, but it's very useful. It's very practical and I like the examples. I'm still reading it and I don't know if I'm gonna finish it until the end, but I'm reading this book. It's a nice book and I think you should read it as well. So by far, these are the books which I recommend. So that's pretty much it on books, guys. I am not a big fan of books. However, I prefer to read books sometimes over videos and courses because they are more comprehensive and they have more information and you can just grasp a subject in more details when reading a book as opposed to watching a video course or a video on YouTube. So that's why books are also super important and check them out. All right, guys, so another resource which I think is super important as well is YouTube because first of all, you're watching this video and second of all, a lot of people watch YouTube. A lot of people like video over reading stuff. But let's go ahead and check out the resources related to YouTube channels and YouTube videos in general. So if you guys are on YouTube, make sure to check Check out these channels because they are the best channel I found so far. I also put the links to these channels in the goresources.md so make sure to check them out, make sure to subscribe and watch these awesome channels. So let's go ahead and dive into the next resource. All right guys, so another resource I want to talk about also related to video is Udemy courses. Now YouTube seems like a very good resource but however when it comes to good organized comprehensive resources YouTube seems very hard to use because you have to search a lot for a specific video video and you may find something which is garbage, something which is not as you expected or you may not even find what you're looking for. I love Udemy and that's why I recommend Udemy and now let's go ahead and dive through some courses which I recommend, which I myself have completed and I think they are the best courses currently out there on Golang. Alright guys, so these are the courses which I recommend. The first two are my favorite because 
These are by Todd McLeod and he explains everything in details. He starts from the very, very beginning from computers, from how computers work and stuff like that. That's pretty much it on Udemy courses and these are my favorite courses on Udemy. I've completed them and I recommend them to you because they are the best. Even though there are some other courses on Udemy, these courses are the best and I recommend them to you. All right guys, so another important resource which I daily use is GitHub and I think GitHub is very important resource because there are a lot of good projects out there which I have learned from and I wanted to share these resources with you. So let's go ahead and dive into that list. So these are the resources which I used when I started to learn Go. Some of them are linked to the courses which I mentioned before in the Udemy courses and that's pretty much it on GitHub resources. Go ahead and have a look for the rest of the links because we don't have enough time to cover all of them. All right guys, so the last resource I want to talk about is mail subscriptions and that is a super important resource because you don't need to search for these kind of resources. You just subscribe once and you always get notified. So let's go ahead and dive into a list of resources which I prepared related to subscriptions so here's a list of mail subscriptions which you can subscribe without having a doubt if you're gonna be spammed or not because I myself am a subscriber and it's a pretty darn good resource so I'm here in go resources.md and we have free subscriptions at least these are the subscriptions which I have so go along weekly you probably heard of it so basically just a simple process subscribe and there you go there you have it and then you have awesome go awesome go it's pretty much a clone of go weekly I would say so you can subscribe to either of these resources I'm a subscriber to one of them only so that's pretty much it and then you have Fion Colohon I don't know if I'm reading that the right way so basically you wait for a while here and it's gonna pop up or yeah it's gonna pop up and you just input your email address and subscribe so that's pretty much it on mail subscriptions I hope you guys liked it I hope it was useful for you and make sure you subscribe if you want to all right guys that's pretty much it on go resources that's all I had to say these are the resources which I have used these are the resources which I continue to use day by day and if you have any resources which I haven't mentioned please make sure to link them in the description of this video I would be very happy to see that and I am also a huge fan of Dwayne Johnson and he said, remember, quotes won't work unless you do. So all of these resources will be useless if you don't practice them. So go ahead in the wild and practice them. Open all these resources out, research and check them out. Check them out because they are useful. If you just watched this video, all these resources happen to be useless. So go ahead and practice them, put them in practice and check all of them out. So that's it on this video guys. Hit that like button if you like this video, smash it if you didn't and subscribe if you aren't already. And I gotta go and do stuff. So I'll see you guys next time.